find the root of function f with bisection method. The bisection method is a bracketing root finding method, so it is requires two x values, a and b. For these values f, a, times f, b, less than zero, opposite signs at the end of the range. Let f, a, is negative and f, b, is positive, choose a and b value according to these conditions. We want to find that x value where f crosses the x axis. The procedure is simple. We can calculate the midpoint of a, b. Then we can calculate f, x, in this middle point. If this f is negative, replace a with the midpoint, if positive, replace b with the midpoint, then repeat the method, until the range, a, b, became small enough. The problem with this method, we must to decide a or b will be replaced, as per sign of the function in the midpoint. Because if function is not implemented, we must to develop a structure for emulating if function. The required steps are below. First we need a counter m. The counter is required, because we must to follow how much iteration is finished until now. Second we must to calculate the midpoint of the range and store it into variable x. Third we need the value of the function in the midpoint. Store this value in the variable y. Fourth we must to know the actual width of the range. In this example I use the relative absolute error. No need to store this value. Then we must to calculate two parameters which shows the sign of the calculated y value. If y is negative, the value of c is 0 and value of d is 1. If y is positive, the value of c is 1 and value of d is 0. Finally we can calculate the new range, the new values of a and b if y is negative, the value of a will replaced with x and b is not change. If y is positive, the value of b will replaced with x and a is not change. From this point we can repeat the iteration until the error is reached the accepted value. Let's type in and test it. Let f x equals x cubed minus 4 by minus 9. The starting value for a equals 2 and b equals 3. Let's start the iteration. As you can see, a and b automatically replaced depends on the sign of f in the midpoint, therefore no need to type in numbers, just pressing the equal key in the calculator. If we reached the accepted, for example the one tenth percentage, relative error, we can stop and check the range and the value of x and y. <laughs> 